So when I first started to rank the AFC South, I was thinking, you know, a brother like me got to thinking, you're going to have the Colts at the bottom with the Texans, and then we're going to have to talk about the Titans and the Jags fighting it out at the top. But the more I've looked at it, I do have the Titans second, but I find it tough to believe this team could win this division. I think there's a better chance that they fall lower, that the Colts could pass them up, then they win this division. No, they have some things going for them to where I won't rule it out. They've got some talent in the defensive line. They've got a young secondary. Maybe they make some leaps. And they've got Mike Vrabel running the show to where he's probably going to get some type of Ace D out of them. If you're a Titans fan, you're going to say, we were so close last year without backups with Tannehill Hurts. We almost beat the Chiefs with Malik Willis not able to complete a pass. What are you talking about? But the talent's only getting better and better. It's not like the Jags lost their guy. It's not like they lost their pieces. No one the contrary. They've got Trayvon Walker going to the second year. I don't want to give the whole Jag- Jaguars breakdown. But we know that they still have the Jaguars out there in the South and in the AFC as a whole. If you're saying, well, the Jaguars might be this, but will it be a wild card? It's just the fact that all of the best quarterbacks are in the AFC. Most of the best teams are in the AFC. Look at all the best quarterbacks. Joey Burrow, my homeboy, Josh Allen, Trevor Lawrence. You've got all the best youngins in the West. Not in the West. In the AFC. The only really good quarterback, at least young quarterback that's in the NFC, is Jalen Hurts. Then you have your Kirk Cousins, Jared Goffs, and it's not much going on. So I say all that to say, if you're going to go into the season with Tannehill, Malik Willis, or Will Levis, you better be dominant everywhere. And according to Pro Football Focus, they are ranked as the 32nd offensive line going into the last to next year. Last year, we saw Tannehill taking hits after hits after hits. Yes, they've got a little bit of weaponry back after losing uh, A.J. Brown last offseason for a second rounder. They do have DeAndre Hopkins to bring in. There is some good chatter in training camp about Traylon Burks doing some things. But that's just not enough to a guy like me. Because these quarterbacks, these great quarterbacks, it's not like they don't have weaponry. Oh, no, they got weaponry. So for the Titans to do to win their division, it's going to have to be put it back at Derrick Henry's hand, and that defense has to dominate. And I just don't know if their offensive line is good enough to make it to where they are going to be a, you know, the best running game in the league. With Derrick Henry, you're most likely going to be able to run the stinking football. But I don't know if you're going to be able to dominate enough in the running game. I don't know if your defense is going to be great enough to complement it to get you into the postseason. If Will Levis comes out there, takes the job, and dominates, that changes everything for this team. But they're an elite quarterback away, and I don't see any elite quarterback on their table going into the next season. So I see this as an eight-win team, nine-win team, missing the postseason yet again. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.